Hey guys, Crewman here, and this is the RTX 5060. I want to give a big shout out to MSI for sending this over to me. This is actually the GPU that I will be using in my editing rig for quite a while, actually. So they sent this over to me, and I figured it would be a good idea to do a review on it. Now, I know a lot of other tech tubers have done a review, but I like to do my own reviews, and I feel like I will be testing this in a way that will make it different from other reviews, and will give you guys just another review to watch to see if it's for you. Now, I don't think this GPU is for a lot of PC gamers. I think it's for a unique subset of PC gamers, but I think that subset that it is for, it does a great job with. So in this review, I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to test a few games, and then I'm going to explain my testing results, what I think about this GPU, who I think it's meant for, and what I think about the price of it. So without further ado, let's get to it. And thank you to MSI for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so before I get to the results, the first thing I want to talk about is why I chose a test bench that I chose to test the 5060 on. This is not a knock against other tech tubers, as I understand how difficult it is to be a tech tuber, and I think everybody does a wonderful job. But one of the things that I personally do not like is when you take a GPU like the 5060 and you pair it with a CPU like the 9800X 3D or something similar in power. And I understand why you do that. You do it because you want to take out any variables and you want to show just what the GPU can do compared to other GPUs. And I get that, right? But 
When reviewing a GPU like this, everybody knows it's not going to be the best GPU, and it's going to be worse than, say, newer GPUs, like the 5090 or the 5070, for example. But what I don't think is shown is what this thing can do in real-world performance. So I wanted to pair this with a budget CPU, as I think if you're buying a GPU like this, then you're on a budget and you want to buy the best thing you can at that budget and you don't want to buy something that's used. That's what I think the main demographic of this GPU is. So I thought that I could get some real world accurate data on this system. So in the testing, obviously, you notice that there were some CPU bottlenecks and that this GPU wasn't perform you know, could have maybe performed a little bit better. But that's by design. So I just wanted to make that clear. So without further ado, let's go over the data. And another thing I want to go over is I only did testing in 1440p because these days you can get a very, very solid 1440p monitor for under $200. And it looks so much better, in my opinion, than 1080p gaming. And I don't see the reason to run 1080p benchmarks anymore unless you're basically on like a, a higher end GPU and you're trying to crank you know, uh, that five to 600 FPS range. And I don't think this is an eSports GPU. So now at 1440p with the four games I tested, the only one that I had a, that I had VRAM usage issues was in Space Marine 2. And all I had to do was lower the presets to medium and I was good to go. Now I'm not here to say that eight gigs of VRAM is enough, but if you want to budget NVIDIA GPU with frame gen, DLSS4, and you refuse to buy used, and you don't want to break the bank, this is your best option. You saw that it performed well. Uh, it got over 60 FPS on Space Marine 2 without DLSS. It got 60 FPS in Borderlands with FPS on quality on low settings. You could crank up the DLSS and add frame gen if you wanted. And also when you when I tested the Horizon Forbidden West, I had frame gen off and I had settings on high. So you can see that for high-end AAA games that you know aren't like Cyberpunk high-end, you will get that 60 FPS playable experience that you're looking for. As of the time of this review, November 9th, 2025, the 5060 can be had for $300, whereas the 5060 Ti 8GB model is around $350, $360. And while at the higher price points, like when you're talking 5070 versus 5070 Ti, I always think it's worth the spending extra to buy the better GPU. In this case, because the VRAM stayed the same and every dollar counts on the budget spectrum, $60 at this price point is the cost of your case, for example. I think the 5060 is good for those buyers who only want NVIDIA and refuse to buy used. All right, so this is the Gaming Trio 5060 from MSI. I want to go over this specific model and what I like about it. The thing I like the most is there's no 12 volt high power cable. Just a regular 6 to 8 pin. Now, I'm pretty certain that's standard on most 5060s, but I just wanted to point that out. Another thing I do like is I like the 3 fan design. I know it's probably overkill considering the PCB only goes to about half of the card, but having more fans is better and, you know, it, it will make up for lack of airflow in the rest of your case if you have any airflow issues in your case. Plus, I think 3 fan GPUs look cooler, but again, that's personal preference. Another thing I also like is I like the GeForce Drag or the MSI Dragon on the back. I like that it's just it's smooth. There's not a lot of RGB. There's a little bit right here, and there's a little bit on the MSI logo. So it's not obnoxious, and it's pretty solid. This one has three Display Ports, one HDMI, basically all you're probably gonna need. Uh, and other than that, it's just got a pretty solid build quality. It's not flashy, which I like, but it's not like super minimalist like the PNY ones are. Again, this is just personal preference, but I just wanted to take a minute to point out the aesthetic features that I do like about the Gaming Trio RTX 5060. So in conclusion, the RTX 5060 is hardly a game-changing GPU, and honestly, it does not make sense for a lot of PC gamers out there. But if you fall into the following, you want an NVIDIA GPU, you want a brand new NVIDIA GPU, and you do not feel comfortable buying used, and your budget is as close to $300 as you can possibly get, then this GPU is perfect for you. Now, a GPU like this generally gets sold to mostly OEMs for their, you know, their pre-built PCs. But I do think that if you are one of those select few gamers who are on a budget, you want access to DLSS 4 and frame gen, and you want new, this, is, this GPU is perfect for you. I mean, that's really all there is to say to it. 
uh, because, you know, as I've already said, the 5060 Ti costs a little bit more, enough where you could probably buy like a case or a full part, so it doesn't make sense to buy that. And you've already established that you don't want used because frankly, there is much better value in the used market. But I understand why a lot of people would prefer new. So if you want an NVIDIA GPU on a budget, this is as good as it gets. So thank you for watching. Thank you to MSI for sending me over this unit. And as you can see right here, I will be using this thing as a daily driver coming soon, as soon as the shed's done. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.